All right, guys, KB32 here. Check it out. We're sitting here at the review table. I've got a bunch of boxes out here. Uh, and this, ladies and gentlemen, is the beginning of a precision rifle upper uh, for the AR-15 platform. I wanted to bring you along for the journey. We've been building these parts up for quite some time. You've probably seen this proof research barrel in several videos. We're going to show you something that's really cool. Uh, we're going to go ahead and test long scope this thing real quick. I'm going to take a look at the uh, handguard we're going to put it on. Of course, just a regular M4E1 upper, uh, stripped upper receiver. Haven't figured out what kind of uh, charging handle I want to put on this thing. Just, I, I don't know why. But in any case, we'll go ahead with that. And then I've got uh, this Landtac. Uh, this is their EBCG Smooth Cam Port 4. Now, we'll do a review on this. We'll go ahead and pull all the gauge pins out and everything else. But I just want to go over the parts and pieces real quickly. Now, this build is on par with one of the best that I've ever done. Uh, most of the cases will do a CNC, but I can be honest with you, M41 upper receiver uh, set is uh, adequate for just about anything and everything is gonna bring you the precision that you want for the money. It's probably the best upper receiver if you can find it. I bought this a long time ago. This whole thing stems from a company called riflespeed.com. Now, they sent me an adjustable gas block. We're going to go ahead and present that to you as the build goes. But first, what we want to do is I want to break out the proof research barrel. This, by far, ladies and gentlemen, is one of the best barrels, most consistent barrels. Now, I know there are a lot of people out there, including myself, hold on, that will tell you that a barrel like this, this is a Bear Creek Arsenal. This is an 18 inch, this is a 223 wild, one and eight twist, five right stainless steel. Love the one and eight twist. Uh, we might just go ahead and do a comparison shoot with this thing. And you've seen me do that in the past, the cheap versus expensive, where we took a Bear Creek Arsenal barrel and we compared it with the proof research on my three gun rifle. This is the full carbon fiber, this is a stainless steel. So. We might just do a couple things and show you in comparison, but I'll tell you what, Proof Research probably makes the best uh, barrel, in my opinion, on the market right now. Uh, for the money, Criterion might be the way you go. I don't know. But in any case, I wanted to go ahead and unveil a couple of the parts. So we got the M4E1. We're going to go ahead and use the Lantac EBCG Smooth Cam Port. We'll, like I said, we'll do a review on that. Uh, because this is a really cool deal with the carbon fiber barrel. Let me show you guys who haven't seen this. This is what a proof research barrel looks like. And she's carbon fiber wrapped. This is a 20 inch long. This is a one and seven twist. Uh, two, two, three wild. Now, real quickly, let's do this so that you have a good understanding. This is a 20 inch barrel. Uh, go ahead and bring this out. Put it on here. Let's see if I can get this thing to stand up because that's the best way to do that. That whole 20 inch barrel is one pound, 15.4 ounces. Now in comparison, this is an 18 inch barrel, basically the same profile. That's two pounds, 5.6 ounces. Right, so there's a little bit of weight savings there. This thing is absolutely breathtaking, but ladies and gentlemen, where it is truly breathtaking is on the interior. Now, let me show you something real quickly. I decided because I have an, a, a lower that already has a Lancer uh, carbon fiber uh, buttstock on it, I wanted to go ahead and do kind of a matching deal. And I've, if I could figure out this damn box, this thing is crazy. So we'll go ahead and break this out. This is the Lancer Octagon and fiber optic. So the cool fiber optic, carbon fiber. So the cool thing is, is that you're going to have something that looks similar to this. It's carbon fiber, carbon fiber. It's going to be really neat. I've got a couple of these things called Magnite. Magnite, I believe it is. Uh, handguards that are coming in, magnesium phosphate, I believe. And it'll be interesting to see exactly how those compare with say the carbon fiber hand guards but you can see what that looks like it's going to be beautiful but let's talk talk interiors so i've got the uh test long i hope i can figure out how to put that thing together i've got the test long i think it's a test long uh snake here and we're going to scope out the inside of this guy let me go ahead and hit the record button and i've got it right here so let's do this and you know what for shits and giggles We'll put this together. 
cheap versus expensive. All right, so we've done this before. I want you to take a look at that beautiful. If you're wondering what the hell that noise is, that's an air conditioner right behind me that hasn't shut off for the last two or three weeks. So look at that. Isn't that beautiful? The way that thing is spun. All right, so now we're going to talk to you about the lands and the grooves. Look at that. Is that not absolutely beautiful? One of the things that I like to look at is where the lands start in the barrel because that is something that can affect your accuracy. We're talking about the jump. So we can see there's a little bit of variation in there, uh, not much, but let's go ahead and we'll follow this guy down and I want, to I want you to look at it. Now, there's a difference between cold, level for uh, cold hammer forge, cut and uh, what do you call it when they, uh, oh my gosh, when they just pull the damn thing, plug through it. Anyway, uh, brain fart there, guys. I actually do know what it's called. But you can see this is a cut barrel. Look how smooth those lands and those cuts are. Absolutely beautiful. And then what I'm trying to do is we're going to locate my favorite thing. Let's locate that gas hole. Actually, let's go ahead and run it all the way out to the end. Ah, what the hell, man? There it is. Now, look at that. A lot of people have asked me also, is uh, that going to affect the accuracy if the, um, what do you call it, the uh, gas port is on one of the landings? And no, not necessarily. I've never noticed it to cause anything like that. We'll go ahead and push it on out to the end. Let's check the crown. We can see. Look at that. Nicely done. Very nicely done. So that's what the inside of a proof research barrel is. Now let's take a look at a Bear Creek Arsenal barrel. Check this thing out. Now, we're talking about with the proof research. Retail on that guy is probably about $799 to $1,000, depending on where you find it. Bear Creek Arsenal barrel, uh, we're looking at about $130. <laughs> so the similarities um, are there, actually. So take a look at the chamber. I'll go ahead and move it up. There's our lands, you can see. There we go. Button cut, that's what they called it, dumbass. All right, so anyway, these barrels have been tested. You can see there's a little bit of carbon build up on that thing. Not that bad, but let's go ahead and punch it out to the, uh, the gas port hole, and I'll show you what that thing looks like in comparison. Hold on one second. That's a good looking barrel. It really is. I don't think we're going to have any issues out of this thing. Is it going to achieve the uh, equal uh, accuracy? It depends on the bullet. It depends on the shooter. It depends on the triggers. You can see there's a little bit of build up right there. I don't mind that at all. Let's go on out and check the end of it. Well, hold on. There we go. You can see there's a little bit of a crown on there. Let's go ahead and pull it back. I want to check out that gas port, the gas hole. Let's check your gas hole, shall we? <laughs> so anyway, this is going to be a really cool build series. And I might, I'll might i go ahead and put this thing together. As you can see, there's a little uh, deterioration on the leady edge right there. Now, this one is in the groove. It's not in the landscape. A little bit right there, but that's about it. So anyway, very cool, very neat little deal here. Uh, beautiful barrels, both of them. And I tell you what, just to show you, this is a nice little barrel from the guys over there, Ballistic Advantage. I bought this barrel. This is going to go on an Econ series. This is a barrel from the guys over there at uh, Midway USA. Hey, for kicks and giggles, let's take a look at the cuts on it, shall we? Oof, yeesh. Holy shit. Well, there's a reason why these things are cheap. Man, look at that, would you? All right, we're gonna, we're, we may have to go ahead and do a video on this one on its own. Here is a Blisk Advantage. This is a handsome profile. Uh, and it came. This is going to go on our premium build, and I'm going to go ahead and unveil the premium build probably tomorrow. 
we'll go ahead. Let's just for kicks and giggles, it comes with the gas block and there's a pinhole on the side. Uh, this has been sitting for a while, so I'm not sure what the interior of it is going to look like. A good friend of mine, Mr. John, he sent me pictures of his and it looked horrible. But this one's not that bad. It's got some uh, Cosmoline buildup in it, which I'm fine with. Let's see what that gas port hole looks like. But ooh, we always love our gas port holes. Let's go ahead and bring it out. There. Yeah, I shoot that thing a couple times and all that crap will go away. There it is. Not bad, right in the middle of the land. Let's see what the end looks like. It's perfect. I like that. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, that's it. Uh, yeah, well, proof research. Uh, this is going to be an amazing build. I hope uh, it shoots well. Uh, I'm anticipating a 77 grain uh, match tip. Uh, we'll definitely do what it needs to do when it comes to uh, being accurate with this thing. So with that being said, guys, uh, cheap versus expensive. Let's do that. And then thanks to uh, RifleSpeed.com, we're going to be uh, doing a uh, big profile on their adjustable gas block. I think it's revolutionary, and I can't wait to share it with you. But with that being said, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. Support the red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless his men, women in uniform, 24-7 for our freedom. Because freedom comes in... Uh, some carbon fiber, really lightweight. Oh, yeah. I'm out of here. Y'all be good.